what's up sun rays welcome back to the channel it's ray if you're new here welcome today i am going to be doing a wash and go but i'm going to be trying a new gel now i think i have tried this gel in the past it's the wonder curl get set hair jelly and i don't think that i had that great of an experience but at the time i used all of wonder curls products and the, just the wash day products I didn't care for. So I think that may have affected how I felt about the gel. So we're gonna go, we're gonna revisit it today. So open it up and looking at the texture, it looks very much, uh-oh, like the Alake Naturals Lemongrass Gel. Very similar texture to it just kind of like that gelled jiggly look so yeah i don't remember it looking like this so i hope this is i hope this is good but this is a new one because i had repurchased it i think i got rid of the old one and repurchased this one and um, it was in uh one of my black friday videos i believe so what I'm using with it is the Curl Love Moisture Milk. So this is one of my favorite moisturizers as far as scrunching into a dry wash and go, right? However, I did say it works well as a leave-in, so I'm using it as a leave-in today. Remember, I also said that the application is not that great as a leave-in, and I still stand by that. So when you're putting it in, it doesn't have, because it's thick, it doesn't have that same slip that a regular leave-in would have. It doesn't have that same suppleness and things like that it rubs on kind of rough in my opinion because of the um, thickness of it but it does have moisture so it is in my hair now and it has soaked in so that's great and we are going to go ahead and just start applying the gel so what i actually was going to do was use this with the will be a naturals custard because I did those two together probably three years ago and I wanted to revisit it and I have the um, Obia Naturals that I need to use up. And then when I saw this, I said, you know what, let me go ahead and break into this gel. Um, otherwise, I'm not gonna get to it. I'm not gonna get to it. I'm just gonna keep overlooking it and I don't wanna do that. So what I will do is revisit some of my old wash and goes. Um, later because I do feel like those of you who are new to me probably um, are not having a chance to really go back and look at older wash and goes from three two three years ago because I'm constantly putting out content so the newer stuff is probably what you're seeing okay so and it's easy to talk about it. I have it on my channel go search and all that kind of stuff but how many of you guys do that especially if you're using if you're looking at my content on a TV versus a computer. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this gel. And I'm only going to get a little bit. Because I don't know how much to use. And I know that the Alake Naturals is a strong hold. And you don't need a lot of it. So we're going to go in with a little first and add more if I feel like I need to add more. Plus, I don't want it to flake. So I do feel like I need a little bit more. So I'm just going in with my fingers, just getting a little bit more to apply to the ends and then under here. So we are gonna see. Now I did put the leave-in in my hands as well as this gel and rubbed it together and it did seem like it was going to pair well together. So let's hope that is the case on hair. Now, if you remember what the kink, if you guys watch her channel, I don't know if you do or not. If you don't, you need to go on over and check out her channel. She likes this Wonder Curl gel. She was the one who made me want to revisit it because she said it reminds her of the Obia as far as the look that she gets and things like that. And I like Obia, so I was like, I don't remember getting that from this gel, but again, I use this kind of 
uh, not long after I started my channel. Still learning my hair. I feel like I need some in the root. Still learning my hair. And again, I tried it with their other products that I didn't quite care for. So we're gonna see. Now, this gel does say to, it says put, apply to clean hair. It said it works best um, for better results used with one of their moisturizers. And I don't have any of their moisturizers. I've gotten rid of them because again, I didn't care for them. So that is why I opted to use one of my favorite moisturizers and see how it works like that. I'm not sure, I think what the kink uses this alone. Um, so she doesn't use a whole lot of leave-ins all the time. So anyway, if you wanna see how it works on her hair, go over there. If you wanna see how it works on um, hair without a leave-in, um, her climate is a little bit different than mine. She's in Florida. where it's a little bit more humid. I'm in Indiana. Um, so our climates are different and I'm using a leave-in. So anyway, I will link her channel. So you got, if you guys wanna check out her video, you can easily get to it. It'll be in the description box. All right, so, so far it's looking good. I must say it is looking good. I don't see any white. I am taking smaller sections than I normally do just because um, I am not familiar with this gel. I don't know what the hold is. And so I wanna make sure that I'm getting my roots as close to my roots as possible. So yeah, okay guys, so you see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna continue to do this and you guys can watch.
Okay guys, so I'm done. My camera um, cut off. I'm not sure when it cut off because I was too into trying to do my hair. But anyway, hopefully you guys didn't miss too much, but I have it all applied. Now, what I will say is that it looks like it's gonna give me pretty good definition, but I also am already getting frizz. And I'm not sure why that is because I thought this said this is supposed to be a humidity proof gel if, I were, if I'm not mistaken yeah humidity proof so why I am getting frizz already when my hair is wet I don't know and I do know that my hair was drying out a little bit so I did add water but who knows I'm going to wait until my hair is dry to give you my final thoughts on the product still have some in here uh, I don't believe I used that much but this is only eight ounces the jar looks huge but it's only eight ounces it's not like it's 12 ounces or whatever so um anyway so that's that right now i don't see anything where i feel like i'm going to get flaking but who knows because again i was using this that activated this then i put the gel on top so anything could happen okay anything could happen so you know we're gonna we're gonna keep that in um in mind also i do want to let you know that i did go and just put on a t-shirt um because i felt like my robe was soaking up a lot of my water on my hair and i didn't want my ends to get frizzy because they're rubbing up against the robe so I did do that. Alrighty, let me dry my hair and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I am out from under the dryer and my hair is 99% dry. It's a little damp here and a little damp here, but I can't stay under the dryer because some um, company is coming over. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let it dry um, the rest of the way and I will be back tomorrow with it stretched to show you what it's looking like. But until then, this is what it looks like. I have good definition. I have a little bit of hold, not real crunchy. My curls are somewhat clumped, but they they look more shingled like, but those are my first thoughts. But other than that, it looks good. So I'll come back once it's stretched and we'll talk about the product, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so I am back and it is the next day. So you remember I um, said that I couldn't stretch yesterday um, right after I got under the dryer because I had people coming over so I needed to get from under the dryer. My hair was about 99% dry. It was just a little wet in here so I went on and let it air dry the rest of the way. And then at night, I just put on a bonnet. I didn't tie it down or anything. I just put a bonnet on and slept. So it was a little mushed uh, this morning, but it was still full of curls. And then I did go ahead and stretch it a little bit with heat. With that being said, I did get a little bit of frizz, as you can see, by stretching it with heat. But y'all know I'm okay with that. I am pleasantly surprised by the curl definition that I have. I do feel like this gives me a little um, more separated curls as, as opposed to clump curls, which is what I like. But I don't mind this. I think I got a good mixture so I can live with it. And like I said, I still have a lot of definition. So about the Wonder Curl Get Set Hair Jelly, it says... A hair jelly that fixes frizzy hair for softy fine styles. Key ingredients are aloe vera, pro vitamin B5, and it's supposed to be humidity proof. It is paraben free, silicone free, sulfate free, gluten free, yada, yada, yada. So it's a good product. I will say that glycerin is the second ingredient for those who want to know. I do have to go out today, so we're going to see how it works outside in the humidity for right now. I like it. Uh, pleasantly surprised there is no flaking so the get set hair jelly and the Camille Rose curl love worked well together 
I do not have a crunch. I do feel a little bit of a hold. I felt a little bit of a hold yesterday. I feel less of a hold today because I stretched it, but I still feel, I can still feel the hold on the ends, but there is no noticeable crunchy crunch on my hair. So, okay, wanna let you know that. Um, so just to get, tell you what it says, it says a unique curly hair styler based on aloe vera that will make your hair defined and frizz free without any crunch or flaking. So I don't have crunch, I don't have flaking, I do have some frizz, okay? Um, you can have great hair days every day. The key ingredient is the pro vitamin B5, um, panthenol basically, which additionally strengthens your hair without any stiffness. So um, yeah, that's what it's saying. Uh, it says, we strive to make the world a better place by giving our customers great hair days every day. Wonder Curl empowers anyone with curly hair to wear their hair in its natural state with confidence. So that is what it says, okay? So I've been wanting to retry this for a while and now I have. Um, the texture to me is very much like the Alake Naturals texture. The Alake Naturals, I believe, is a stronger hold than this. It gives you a little bit more ramen noodle, noodle hair if you're not careful and you use too much. I do feel like this one is closer to the Obia Naturals as far as look um, on the hair um, and the fullness that you get on day one and actually the feel of the hair too, because both of them, I'm gonna be honest, my hair is soft, but my hair doesn't feel as moisturized as I am used to. Um, and I'm shocked because this is pretty moisturizing. I really like this. However, um, I did clarify my hair before I used this, and I did um, use a deep conditioner that I thought uh, was going to give me the moisture I needed but to be honest when I rinsed out that deep conditioner my hair didn't feel as good as my hair can feel after rinsing out a deep conditioner so all of it probably played a part so I don't want to say that this is what's making my hair feel dry but when it talks about the vi pro vitamin b5 strengthening the hair and things like that I don't know if that is um you know, I don't know if that's what I'm feeling or not. I'm trying to see um, what other ingredients are in here. I don't know. I mean, I don't see, I don't see uh, like any heavy proteins or anything like that in here. So I don't know. But anyway, my hair just does not feel as moisturized as I'd like. So we're going to see how long this lasts. And because it's not as moisturized as I'm used to, that could be attributing to some of the frizz as well. So I do want to let you know that. All in all, if I had to get a rating on it today, I would say that I, I like it. I would say it's definitely um, one that I would reach for again. So yeah, I want to try it again. I definitely have enough to give it a couple more tries. So I definitely want to try it again and see what kind of results I get at a later date, you know, and in different weather. Because again, it's getting kind of cool here. The air is a little bit drier today. Um, it's, it's kind of cool, but it's sunny. So we're going to see what the, um, I haven't checked like the dew points and stuff like that. So I'll check and see how that goes and I'll pay attention to my hair. But anyway, guys, that's it. I will definitely let you know how long it lasts. I'll leave a blurb or I might try to come back, but I thought that I said I wasn't gonna be trying to come back as much uh, because my hair doesn't change a lot over the days. If anything, it will get flaking that I would need to let you guys know of. Or um, if it's a really softer hold, like a mousse or something like that, letting you see how it looks and how many curls I have or how much frizz it frizzed out. This, I have enough hold that I know it's not gonna frizz out. It's pretty much gonna look like this the next few days. It's just gonna get bigger. But I do want to see how uh, the moisture holds up. I wanna see how, um, you know, if any flaking occurs, I wanna see if it gets duller over time, that type of thing. So I can leave all that in a blurb if I need to. But anyway, guys, yeah, this is it. Let me know if you like 
um, Wonder Curl. If you try them, leave that information in the comment section below so we can learn from your experience. Let me know how you feel about this wash and go in my hair and um, if you will try it try wonder curl based on my review i think it's worth a try guys i think it's worth a try and i am definitely interested in using it again um with a different leave-in um things like that but anyway guys that's it i gotta go so hopefully you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next one bye guys